Yahweh versus Elohim 5. The spirit slash heaven speaks to me. Yahweh versus Elohim 5. The spirit slash heaven speaks to me. Okay. He talks through my own voice. Um. Potentially all sorts of people in heaven. And, um. Mm. Sometimes I hear, hear the voice, in past times, voice identifying itself as Michael and sometimes as Jehovah. Different voices as well, in different tones and different persons, both looks like. And, um. be funny buggers going on so in this Yahweh versus Elohim doctrine and all these voices and, and spirits which speak to me which I report of the spirit and heaven speaking to me I do maintain from time to time that you can potentially take what what is said by it with a grain of salt because it could be funny buggers from the heavenlies going on it could be funny buggers going on people or angels even with a sense of humor having a bit of a go sort of controlling my voice and having a bit of a go, because I don't really know how for sure all that works. So it could be serious enough stuff sometimes, but it, it might be funny buggers as well. So so keep that in mind, that um, heaven might have a sense of humor, or it might be a bit more straight. It, it might be straight. It might be straight talk and just some argumentation going on in the, the scheme of things. I don't really know for sure. I'm cautious, and um, but like I've said in the previous video, Yahweh appears to exist, Elohim appears to exist. On face value, it could be the same being. And um, the nature of the voice of Yahweh is certainly true enough. And the nature of the uh, uh, revelation of Elohim, I guess, certainly true enough god is god but heaven might be full of funny buggers or just some confusion on these issues or something i'll keep you posted